Hey guys, Joey here, VA Rail Fan 89. I just had some things that I wanted to explain to you. One being that NS has been doing some major track work. I'm saying this for both uh, the local rail fans that rail fan the Tidewater area and the ones that are new to it. Hold on, let me get a little more light in here. Here we go. Basically, Norfolk Southern has been doing extensive track work. They've been putting in new switches, new um, turnouts, and new sentinels. Um, for those of you who actually saw my videos uh, as of recently, you'll notice that I didn't get any trains until after about 6.30. Now, I think it's only fair that I tell you that Thursday, Friday, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays are the busiest days to rail fan. If you absolutely have to go on a Sunday, I would not recommend going any time until after 4 or 5 o'clock. And even then, you'd probably have to wait a good hour or two. Uh, in my case, what happened was I saw one train after 1 p.m. I had been there since before 10, and I had another one about 3.30. After that, there was nothing until the Amtrak. Now, they had been doing, uh, as I said, some track work, and... During the time that I was there, Barry, who's a good friend of mine that lives uh, fairly close to me, well, within about 30, 45 minutes from me, he said, he suggested that I go up to Waverly, where the Oban chain signals are, to see if NS was working there. So my mom and I ride up to Waverly about seven or so miles, and I arrived there expecting to see a bunch of men in hard hats working. To my surprise, I arrive at Waverly, and I see nothing and nobody there but an empty town. Turns out the Sentinel crews were still working up at Disputana, which is, oh, I don't know, a good 9 or 10 miles west of Waverly. Basically what's going on is I heard they're installing two or three new crossovers between... I think New Bohemia and Crew or something. And there are also going to be some more too because I don't know if you've seen the new Sentinels, but some of them have uh, two heads on them, which means there will be crossovers installed. Now basically the reason why the trains weren't running is because they were doing the track work and the new switches. Plus they were shutting down all the ABS Sentinels, some of the ABS Sentinels, which is resulting in having a restricting indication so trains would have to slow down. And they did the um, curfew restriction until 6.30 p.m., which is roughly about 30 minutes before Amtrak was supposed to take the connection at BX to get from the A1 to the Norfolk District. But boy, I will tell you this, it really picked up after that. For those of you who have seen my videos, we were getting, I got about nine trains in an hour, which is much busier than the Norfolk District usually is, but they had been holding up all those trains. And apparently there were still more, because my buddy Barry said that he caught up with 234 on the way back from Collier. He said it came through about 11.45, so it didn't get to Windsor until after 12 in the morning. So that's the reason why I didn't see that one, but the majority of the trains that did run, I saw those. So I thought I would just throw this information out here to you and say that if you're going to rail in the Norfolk District, do a Thursday, Friday, or Saturday if possible. Fridays being the busiest. If need be, as I said, I would not recommend going in any, until any time after 3 or 4 p.m. and then you still have to wait if 2 to 3 hours for any trains to run. But you're pretty much guaranteed it's going to be busy. This is going to be a process that's going to be several months in the making. They're going to be, as you've seen before, installing new CTC signals, well, most of which have been installed. They haven't been put into service yet, which means when we see a green light, that means the train will come in the next 20 minutes to an hour or so instead of just the usual green, meaning the tracks are clear. So that will be interesting. Plus, ATCS, which I don't have, but some of my other rail fanning buddies have, they have they uh, there's a a line a dark line the ABS messes up with the ATCS and basically between Kilby and Disputana which is roughly 
about 40 miles, there's a dark black line because the ABS, as I said, messes with the ATCS. So you can have a train in the ABS territory and you won't know that it's coming. Well, when the CTC is all said and done, that's going to be a different story. When the CTC is completed, we will be able to see trains all the way up and down the Norfolk, Southern Norfolk District, part of the Virginia Division. It will be much easier to track trains, no pun intended, but in any case, it will be a lot easier that way. Uh, as I said, it's probably going to be some several months in the making. I would say it's probably not going to be done until at least September, probably. Um, also, what should be noted is I heard they're going to add a couple new Amtrak trains, one each direction, this fall. So hopefully we'll have a couple more Amtrak daylight runs to add to the freight mix. So um, that's about all for now, I think. Uh, when I come back a little bit later, I have a couple of other things to show you. I have a railroad employee that gave me a couple of things. So um, I'm not going to say what they are, but I'm just going to show you that a little bit later. So anyway, like I said uh, on Sunday, Train traffic operations are going to be a little bit staggered until late, but uh, throughout most of the week it'll be good. So, um, as I said, it's for the local rail fans and for the rail fans visiting from other places as well. So, I will be back later. Take care, everybody. Out.